This video introduces pressure and discusses the pressure load dialog. Pressure stimulates the effect of an evenly distributed pressure on the surfaces of an instance. Similar to a bearing load, pressure is only applied to instance faces. Pressure magnitude is only positive, but by toggling the load direction arrow, it either pushes into a surface or pulls away from a surface. Use cases for pressure loads include measuring the impact of trapped fluids as well as the strength of submerged structures. To add a pressure load to the assembly, select pressure from the assembly toolbar. The pressure load dialog appears. Select a single instance in the assembly on which the load should be applied. Next, establish the faces to load. The loads must be applied directly to the instance faces. Any number of faces may be selected, but they must all belong to the instance selected in the instance field. Pressure does not have a load region checkbox, but does require you to select faces to load. Unlike other load types, a pressure load does not require a mate connector to define its direction. Only a single magnitude entry is required. The magnitude units may vary and are set by the document's workspace units defined as pressure default unit or from your account preferences. With this document's pressure default unit set to pounds per square inch, the default value in this load is 1,000 pounds per square inch. Change the magnitude to the desired amount. Click the green checkmark to accept the load. Enable show results. Enable show deformation. Inspect the results and adjust the deformation scale as needed.